Yo, 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 folks. What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome back to the episode of Avery Sports Show, the webcast on livestream.com slash Avery Sports. Actually, this will be the first episode on livestream that will be going on YouTube tonight. So, hey, YouTube, I'm back. That will be fantastic stuff. we got a jam-packed show for you tonight, folks. As always, we're d what aren't we jam-packed with fruity goodness of sports knowledge as chock full of vitamin C. As always, folks, want to call into the program. Number to call, 1-780-628-1771, extension code 260, or email the program at fightingpike1 at hotmail.com, or join the livestream.com chat. Have a ball. I'm in there right now. Have a blast. It's all fun and games. Only pay me 45, 55 minutes. I mean, ah, well, if you, well... In Canadian currency? Nah, maybe not. I know commie's hard. So if one P means Zimbabwean currency, I'll accept that money too. Hey folks, I sit on the morning show. It's March, and it's time for some March Madness basketball. My gosh. Mm, I love this tournament. I love it. I love it. I love it. I said before, I love watching this tournament. It's in the morning show. I have to go with the John Calipari coach, Kentucky Wildcats, to get it done. My bracket, like I said, I said last week we'll try and show my bracket. It was kind of tough to see, but we'll try and figure something out either today or our next week's show. This is going to be one of the tournaments where it can be on all number one in the tournament with Syracuse and Kentucky. But you know what, though? Do not count out other teams like Missouri. Do not count out Creighton. Do not count, out do not count out Long Beach State. These are teams that could come in and make some serious noise at the dance. In Missouri, I mean, a lot of people are calling Missouri to possibly make the Final Four. And you know what? That would be a very smart call in my mind if you want Missouri in your Final Four. Although Syracuse, Fab Mello, has been suspended, though, so Syracuse takes a big-time hit. They still have Chris Joseph, though. Montreal, good Montreal boy on their team. So let's see how Syracuse shapes up, though. Orange men? I don't know. I think they're going to fall off. Michigan State? The Tom Izzo, Tom Izzo led Michigan State. Ah, I'm not questionable about that too. I mean, like I said, though, this tournament though, and then there's still the teams who really got screwed over, like Drexel. How do you go on a 19 game winning streak and not make the dance? That's tough to swallow. You win 19 in a row and you're going to be playing with the NIT. That is a tough, tough, tough pill to swallow if you're Drexel right now. But hey, what can you do? Some days, that's how the tournament draw bounces. I know it's not always fair, but you know what, though? I, I said before, and I'll say it time and time again. The way that they do college basketball seating is a lot more fair than the freaking BCS. Way more fair, way, way more convenient. I mean, heck, we get a true national champion in college basketball. Do getting college football? Absolutely not. We said on Avery Sports Show Morning Edition on NN92.com. We brought that up with my co one of my co-hosts, Adam Bros. We mentioned that college basketball, at least you know what? Yes, there are some goose in seeding, but like I said, at least you get a better shot. You get you will truly get to see who a national champion is in NCAA Division One basketball. It happens. It does happen, and it's fantastic that you do get that national champion playing. Just love it. It's fantastic stuff. In fact, I know a lot of people in my a lot of people in my classroom, a lot of people in the Nate Radio and TV department. They are picking teams, they fill out brackets. A lot of folks are jumping on the Kentucky bandwagon. Some Syracuse, some Missouri, some we got even some people picking Memphis. It's gonna be a really interesting tourney, very interesting. I mean, it's always so funny how you know your group of friends. Oh, excuse me. You all pick who's gonna win. <laughs> it's, just, it's funny how everybody just gets so divided, and a bragging kicks in. Week two, week three, you know, game two, game three, when everybody's brackets start to get chipped away, and then they get completely busted. That's always good for a few laughs. Hopefully, my bracket can last more than three or four games. I'm hoping and praying about that. I do not have my bracket busted on some weird buzzer beater. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. That's what I really am hoping. Like I say, you know what? We'll try and see if we can put my bracket. Let's have a look here. I feel usually do about two to a year. You usually do one on a uh, one on Yahoo and one on a different site. So it's gonna be really interesting. Really interesting to see how it's all shaped. So let me just get the bracket up here. Do 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 do. 
Yeah, searching for brackets with Avery. Riveting, riveting sports. What riveting sports TV, folks? It's fantastic stuff. And also on the show, we're gonna talk one Mister Peyton Manning. Wow. So I'm hearing that if any team wants to bring him in, they'll have to pay basically six sixty-five mil over three years for Peyton Manning. Wow. That's a lot of dollars, yo. That would be absolutely insane. Sixty-five million. Over three years for Peyton Manning. But you know what, though? I don't think, even after neck surgery, he's a guy who can still, no, you're not 65, but 60? Maybe 55? 50? Okay, because this is a 14-year veteran. A guy who has four MVP titles. Four MVP titles. That is insane. That literally is just, it's nuts. It's mind-boggling, considering how the league can change so much. You have a player who's a four-time all Okay, and here's my some of my bracket. And my team in Yahoo is called the Jerome Lane All-Stars. Yes, I'm sorry, the Jerome Lane All-American. That's my team, the Jerome Lane All-Americans. <laughs> so you got my bracket, got my teams here. And you know what, some upsets I'm calling. Naturally, I have Kansas beating Detroit. But you know what, though? And I have St. Mary's beating Purdue. But I believe if we have a St. Mary's beating a Purdue and Kansas beat Detroit, I think Purdue could knock off Kansas. I'm being dead serious. Watch out for the Boilermakers. Watch out for the Boilermakers. That would be really interesting. Could it happen? I do think so. And then you got, hey, other teams that are back. VCU, Virginia Commonwealth. Shaka Smart has these boys ready to make history again. How far could they go? Could they make the regional semis? Possibly. I could see them in the regional semis. Although, if they have to play Kentucky in the regionals, no. <laughs> they will not get past the Kentucky Wildcats. That will not be happening. <laughs> hey, if you guys have any other brackets you want to talk about, call into the program. 780-628-1771, extension code 260. I would love to hear what you, some of you guys have for your brackets because it's always fun comparing and sharing. And hey, oh, and there goes the phone. <laughs> anyway, folks, we'll take a quick commercial break and be right back with much more. This is Avery Sports Show on Livestream.com slash Avery Sports. Remember, when I turn this off, it's a commercial. The show isn't done, so pay attention. We'll be back after this. 